And now, a fireside chat with Arthur Bergeron. Hi, and uh, welcome to this installment of uh, my fireside chats. Um, if you haven't seen these before, my name is Arthur Bergeron. I'm an elder law attorney uh, at Myrick O'Connell. And um, the purpose of these fireside chats is to supplement the presentations that I do at senior centers regularly when I deal with a whole number of senior issues. Um, the purpose of the fireside chats is to answer probably the most common questions that I get from folks who are coming in talking to me about elder law issues. I try to structure these as a call-in show, and I'm waiting for another call right now. This is Mary. You know, Mr. Bergeron, Frank and I aren't getting any younger, and we were wondering whether we should buy long-term care insurance. Mary, thank you for the question. Um, I know that I've been dealing with you and Frank for a long time. Uh, this question has come up before. It comes up with a lot of folks. So does it make sense for anyone to buy long-term care insurance? So first of all, the reason why folks buy long-term care insurance uh, is to cover um, uh, health issues that would not be covered by their normal health insurance. Health insurance uh, typically covers the cost of getting better, not the cost of staying the same, and therefore it doesn't cover long periods in nursing homes. Um, but it also uh, doesn't cover uh, non-skilled care, non-skilled care. Skill, when I talk about skilled care, I mean care that would probably require a nurse uh, or a physical therapist or a doctor that would require going to a hospital or going to a nursing home. So for people who are concerned about those other kinds of care and the fact that they don't have insurance for them, they'll often buy long-term care insurance. So if your goal in buying the long-term care insurance is to cover your potential nursing home care, my general suggestion would be that's going to be really expensive. The cost of long-term care um, insurance in an amount sufficient to cover your nursing home care in the, in the event that you need nursing home care is probably going to be very high. It may not be prohibitive. You want to evaluate it based on what your own income and assets are. Um, but re remember that long-term care uh, in a good nursing home today is probably going to cost you over $400 a day. So the cost of buying that kind of, that kind of insurance um, for several years, uh, in the event that you're, you're thinking you may get stuck in a nursing home for a long time, could be very expensive. You may want to look at it, but don't assume that that's going to solve that problem. There are two, a couple reasons, though, why you may want to buy long-term care insurance for a lesser amount. First of all, um, the, the, in, it has been my experience that the most valuable thing about long-term care insurance is that it covers home care. It would cover in the event that you were at home, wanted to stay at home, but realized that you just couldn't handle it physically unless you had somebody that was coming in to help you out, um, maybe with getting dressed in the morning, maybe with feeding for any number of reasons, that you just need some physical care, maybe two or three hours a day, not 24-7, not but maybe several hours a day. Um, for that kind of care, long-term care insurance may be ideal. Um, the alternative of paying for that kind of care privately, you may very well find yourself paying $25 an hour, $30 an hour. That's the cost, the price that you would be paying probably if you were buying that care from an agency. If you were buying the care from an individual, you may find yourself paying less, but there are a lot of risks involved in buying the care simply from an individual. You start, you turn yourself into an employer, you need to make sure that the individual is covered as far as, as far as workman's comp and other insurance is concerned. So you may decide that you want to know that in the event that you want to stay home, that there would be funds sufficient to pay for some home care for you. Now, if you were buying that home care today, as I mentioned, the cost of that care would probably be about $25 a day. So if you had a long-term care insurance policy that was paying, say, $150 a day in care, that would buy you six, about six hours worth of care every day, depending on how long the policy lasted. That could buy you care for a long time. So that's first. The big value of the long-term care insurance is in buying you that kind of home care when you need it. 
Second, if you own a home, if you own a home and you buy a long-term care insurance policy that will pay nursing home care of at least $125 per day for at least two years, if it meets those two criteria and you then later need nursing home care because you're going from your home to a nursing home, you, you will, A, you will be able to qualify for MassHealth even though you still own your home as long as you indicate in your application that you do not intend to return home because you're going to be stuck in a nursing home. And B, um, MassHealth will not be able to put a lien on your home, which normally they would in that situation, or to collect based on the value of your home, which they normally would in that situation following your death. The mere fact that you have that long-term care insurance policy that once again will pay for at least $125 a day for at least two years means that your home, no matter what the value of that home, no matter what your equity in that home, is going to be safe. And that, for many of my clients, is a big deal. And in and of itself, enough of a reason to purchase long-term care insurance. So. You may find if you are over 70 years old that you're going to have a lot of trouble getting long-term care insurance. So in general, my advice is look at this before you're 70. Even if you're over 70 though, if you're still in pretty good health, you may still be able to buy long-term care insurance. So my advice to you would be check it out. Check it out. Don't say no to yourself um, because this may end up being a, a valuable tool to stay at home and a valuable tool to save your home. Thanks very much. I hope this, this uh, helps clarify things about long-term care insurance, and I look forward to uh, talking to you on other fireside chats. Thank you.